Hell yeah. Looks like we've got another game, guys. This is map number two, and this is probably the Hang's map pick. He loves Furious oh, Heights. God, yeah. We're going live right now. Here we are on Rafa to begin with, as he gets the Rocket Mega LG start, which is my favorite little start. I think the LG gives you a lot of great options, mm -hmm. and Rafa's going to want to get his uh, get himself straight on that red. And the Hang probably going to be railing from above because he doesn't want to contest Rafa versus the LG. But look at this, the Plasma Trap. This is what Lan opens up and the hang with the aggression here is so powerful. Rafa's going to go down and that's 33 points of health left for the hang but not only that, he's going to get the red, the yellow. He should be able to get positioning on Mega if he's fast. He's got to be quick though, he cannot wait around and here it is. The thing is he doesn't have uh, any LG. He's going to get LG now, is he going to be in time for Mega? Oh, well, yeah. Rafa didn't actually go for it straight oh, no. away. This could be bad for Rafa. They're hovering over this. Dahang needs to take it fast. He does. This should be second frag for Dahang. And oh, he gets the rail. And, zero, no man. and dude, this is... Oh, what a oh, what, what, what the hell was that? <laughs> what just happened? Rafa pulling out the pummel there. Um, and like trapping Dahang in the corner. He's had enough of this. He wants Dahang to go down. And oh, <laughs> Is he going to turn the map around based off of that? That, it could happen. He's going to get a 50 health bubble. He's being very careful to hang smartly, <laughs> spamming some rockets onto that 50 health bubble, knowing that Rafa needed it. Uh, but Rafa's going to get a red, and he might rush over. No, doesn't. He forgets about Mega. He's like, I know that they're spawning at the same time. I'll just let you have it. I'm going to stack up a bit more. Remember, Rafa still hasn't won a map in uh, QuakeCon yet. He needs That's to get true. this one in. And Rafa, right now. I mean, he's he's not he's not really got the best momentum. Evil mm -hmm. had amazing momentum. To hang had amazing momentum. And Raph is just in the position where he's just got to keep himself composed. And he's doing he's doing it wonderfully right now. He's maintaining that equanimity, and he's managed to get that red armor. He's got a good stack. He's got position. The hang is below. It's the hang and go aggressive here. And I mean, we've got uh, Rafa has Mega to fall back on, but he's going to go for the drop. He's crazy. Did you learn about that is earlier? Crazy man. <laughs> I mean, he could have fallen back onto the Mega and then made the, the aggression on Red. But this actually, Dahang is going to be here and Rafa drops down. This is so good for Dahang right now. I think Rafa could have denied both the Mega and the Red, but now Dahang has managed to weasel, weasel himself onto that Red and a Yellow. Oh, he's finding oh, good rockets. Rafa, rocket. He's found him in the water. Dahang goes down and Rafa ties the game up. That's got to definitely uh, be scratching that itch. Yeah, brilliant stuff there from Rafa to save it. <laughs> the hang caught helplessly, yeah. submerged in that water well, by the, the rocket, rail. It sent him back in the water yeah. and Rafa was like, oh, I can't do anything. I'll try and get as much damage as I can before I go down, but uh, hope it's gone. And Rafa, he's got back up to more or less 200 armor, but the hang above him trying to make sure that's not the case. Yes, yeah, 2 to 2 right now. The score is tied. We're only three minutes in this, but Rafa now does have what could be considered to be overwhelming amounts of stack and armor. Mm. And the Hang is going to have to try to battle against this. And we do have red coming up, but the Hang right now is not going to be strong enough to challenge it directly. He might want to do damage from the long range. And if not do damage from long range, it can be very beneficial to have at least the item time. Sometimes the players just want to stick around, not to challenge, but they just want to get that precise item time because that can oh, give what? them a play later on. But Rafa... How did he hit yeah, that rocket? Yeah, he didn't he, even see him then. Yeah, he didn't, sh he didn't hear anything, didn't shoot anything for ages. He shoots one rocket and there is the hang magically. <laughs> He's got some <laughs> great game sense, has Rafa. Now pushing onto the red armor. It looks like the hang wants to try to make some kind of defense onto this. He's going to go for the drop. He oh, does what? pick it up mid-fight. And now Rafa, is his health... In, in, his armor is just diminishing very rapidly here. He has to get the hell out of there, and he does so. But man, he's like tripping over everything. This, the floor is too slippery, it's too much rain. And he gets out of there, but that was not the result he wanted. He's got a little bit less armor than the hang right now. Going LG on LG. Are they going to both want to commit? He tries to go for the rail. Well, both of them do. But well, whiffing it, and it looks like we might see an exchange on the major items. Rafa should get this mega. Is the hang going to come in at all? Yeah, fell, fell back onto that red, onto the next yellow most likely, unless, okay, he probably anticipated Rafa being able to get there before him. But nonetheless, the hang has managed to really diminish a lot of stack and actually gain some major items for himself. Out of a position where he had no right to do so, the hang has evened up the stacks massively. And there should be a huge challenge here for this red. The hang's going to go for it, but great angle there around the corner with the lightning gun. Rafa showing... Great class there, but it's not over yet. The hang is trying to defend in the most precarious of spots, but he does manage to pull it off. And that's going to be a frag for Rafa. One in the lead, gets the Mega. It's going to get some good momentum from this. Yeah, good work. Uh, he left a railgun at the top on the teleporter exit. I don't know. The hang might have gone to collect that and just escape. 
200, 200 for Rafa. De Hang is running around. He did pick up that railgun. He's got all the weapons he needs, but no armor. A, a direct rocket just cripples him at the moment. Exactly, and there he is spying the vertical positions there, but De Hang's going to be spotted in the distance through that little crack there in that doorway. And the rails are flying, but nothing is connecting just yet. And Rafa's about to hit 200, 200. There it is. And now here comes the attack. There's no time for the hang. The, he didn't. He wasn't able to delay Rafa at all. So this is a free pickup. And Rafa can pretty much do with this red whatever he wants. There it is. Beautiful. Rafa's taking damage before picking it up because he was already so stacked. If he picked up the red before, he'd only get 20 armor. So it's like he knows he can wait. So smart play from Rafa to maximize his resources as much as possible. Finds the hang again right here. De Hang though is playing really nicely out of control. He's keeping out of Rafa's face superbly. He knows exactly where Rafa wants to be and he's making sure that he's around the corner, but he moves in this time, he gets the rail. He's trying to dodge the next one, five health left. Dropping down's dangerous, he's gonna go down slowly. And uh, I was just watching his point of view there as he's making a drop for yellow. Rafa's uh, game. He doesn't want to go through. He can, he can cripple him if he can go get through the choke point. But uh, De Hang's defense again. It was a, yeah, there's a fair amount of damage coming in from De Hang there. That's really going to buy him some time. As Rafa scoops up this yellow, he's going to be thinking about this red armor. There's four seconds between the red armor and the mega health. So Rafa definitely has a great shot to deal damage here and fall back. But actually, he's going to go straight on to the red. And I think this is going to give De Hang position on mega. Look, there it is. And De Hang might, oh, might be able to make something happen. And that rocket almost connecting. But De Hang's all over the place right now. Rafa is uh, not taking any damage and he's going to get a free Mega. So that was a really interesting exchange right there. Both players kind of like flailing their arms around, nothing <laughs> yeah. really happening, and then disappearing. De Hang didn't even go for the Railgun Yellow Armor. He's just playing this really, really slowly. He knows he's got over three minutes. He can wait with this comeback. There's, there's no rush at all. Finding Rafa at the bottom, it's like, mm, yeah, sure, you're absolutely stacked. I just, I just want to see what kind of free damage I can get. Doesn't matter if it's none, as long as I take none. Uh, Rafa, though, is he going to be able to find him? The hang is up by the grenade launcher. He's looking over the right angles. It's all about they how might run into each other now. The hang now for Rafa. He's got the stack advantage, but he's got to read how the hang wants to play this. The hang's actually going to take a lot of damage there on the defense. He has to not get hit, but he gets hit by that rail. So brilliant shot from Rafa there. That's going to put the hang absolutely on the ropes right now. And Rafa might be able to take advantage of this. He might be able to just push the issue. He shouldn't have to care about positioning right now. Everything is far away from spawning. He can just, if he wants to, just leap onto the throat of De Hang. But he's going to play it cautiously. He knows that he's one frag ahead. He's got a lot of control. If he plays sta stable and forces De Hang to come to him, he's got a better situation. I, I can't think that's going to happen. How well De Hang is actually avoiding being fragged. It's still, it's been minutes now, and he he's still only trailing by one. Yeah, I, I think Rafa's okay with it. I think he's like, all right, De Hang, you've got two know, minutes man. right he now. He wants to kill, and De Hang's not letting him have one. He's back over to near enough 100, 100. He shouldn't be able to get onto this red, but look, they're gonna be in the middle, De Hang, picking uh -oh. the wrong way oh to man. go. But it doesn't matter, he took no damage. Yeah, I know. He got away with murder then. It's quite funny, actually. Rafa's kind of slipped off edges numerous times trying to just get at the hang mm -hmm. recently. So, I mean, but again, I feel like Rafa's okay with this because the clock is being killed. He's maintaining a very strong stack. And, oh, there's the hang. He takes some nasty rocket damage. The LG, no connection on the rail. What? That is still uh, can't get it. But, but it's okay. It's still okay. He just has to kill 90 Two seconds. Rails. No, this could be one. He's got another one more rail might get the kill. Rafa can't let it happen. He has to escape now. And the hang has opened up a massive window to tie up the game right here. And as you're saying, maybe Rafa not committing hard enough for the kill it could bite him That's in it, the backside only, right now. If he only has a fra one fragger lead, then you're still hugely in the danger zone. The hang is playing exceptionally right now. I can't emphasize that enough. That series of connections there make Rafa scared, but there is the opening rocket, the mid-air to follow, and the third to finish off the hang. And that should also maybe even fi finish off the game. Rafa's pretty healthy right now. He should be able to survive the aggression. He has to fall back to hang. Has he's going to take a moment to have a breather. Again, he's like, okay, I just want to get one frag. The next one can be a spawn frag. But it's about that first frag. So the hang's like, okay, let's get some armor. And in about 10, 15 seconds, we're going to mm -hmm. see the hang. Health leather, he's got to go for it. He's got no choice. He's going to get this red. Oh, he just got, he just got railed. So he's back over to 100, 100. 
he's going for Railgun first. He's running out of time hugely. Do you want to go over to his point of view? And we can Maybe see what are. he does in these dying seconds of the game. Oh, the grenades are hitting. Rafa defending that. again. How many more rails can we see? Rafa setting up the gauntlet for the hang. He's got to run straight through that if he wants to get to him, but nice. no. And, and the Dahang actually, he got to Rafa through all, like all the grenades, all the rockets, all the rails. That he didn't he managed to anymore. get there, but yeah. yeah. GG, guys, that is going to be a map win for Rafa. He's going to be bringing it to the yeah. tiebreaker map. He has got past the, the nightmares and finally got oh, himself yeah. a win here in the group stage. Very encouraging. I mean, I mean, that is, as you said, the nightmares. I think that's very true. I think we saw some some shakiness from his, his decision making, <laughs> some shakiness from some of the movement. Though. and. As you said there, the nightmare's over, he won a match.